I'm going to use a crimper. This is a number four crimper. There are ten of this size and even more uh, varieties, all create a different uh, effect on the end. Um, but I like this one, it's a nice, neat little one. Um, and the idea is you just pinch a little bit of uh, sugar together. And the secret is to try and keep it neat. Trying to keep the same. Crimping's not confined to the bottom of the board. You can uh, do a crimp on the top edge if you want to. It's generally sort of quite a quick way to just finish off. So there's the it crimped all the way around. Just just neatens that bottom edge. The ribbon will be going around there, which will again tidy up the edge up. And now I'm going to just pipe a little shell edging around there. I'm using a number 44 PME nozzle and uh, royal icing. This is quite, quite a nice neat one. Lots of teeth on it, uh, not too big. They come in a variety of sizes and shapes. So all the shells want to be the same size if you can. And try and get into a rhythm doing this. If you if you do it evenly in a ribbon, it will help you get each uh, ball of the same size. So it's, it's squeeze and pull, and squeeze and pull, and squeeze and pull, and squeeze and pull, and so on. Just get in a rhythm. Try not to rush. Try not to speed up, because if you speed up, they'll get longer and they won't be as neat. You don't have to use a turntable. You can just um, have it on a table, but a turntable certainly does make life easier. So hopefully, if you haven't rushed, the shells that you end up doing should be very similar to the ones you started off. We'll start at the back. So if they don't quite, you can hide it. Uh, now we're going to put two rows of ribbon around the cake. This is a useful gadget. Um, it can be adjusted uh, for any design, not just ribbon. But um, I've, I've marked where, worked out where I want my ribbon to go, there and there. And I'm just going to do a few little marks going round to keep the, the ribbon straight. Some people can do this by eye, some people can't. But any gadgets I think to help are going to be an advantage. Right, uh, now it's back on the turntable to put the ribbon round. I'm using 3mm ribbon and I'm going to put a pin through it because I don't want to damage the, uh, the surface of the cake too much. And then I'm going to pin it in like that, so that it just covers that dot there. And I'm going to anchor it in place with a little piece of icing, and then stretch it round the cake, keeping it taut and just covering those marks that I made. To the beginning. Put the pin in the ribbon. And then into the cake. bit more royal icing, trim the ribbon and press it down into place. That join will be covered by a little bow in a moment when we've done the other ribbon. And into the ribbon again. Just 
covering those marker dots all the time, keeping the ribbon under tension so that it keeps nice and straight. You get nearly there, put the pin into the ribbon, right into the cake, cut the ribbon to length, let go of the writing. Those pins will stay in there until the royal icing is dried, which shouldn't take too long, um, only about half an hour. Leave it a little bit, bit longer if you want to, just to be on the safe side. Right, I'm going to make uh, a couple of bows just to tidy that up. The way to do this, get a loop in that hand, another loop in that hand, and then really you're just tying a knot. That one goes over this loop, push that loop through, down and under, grab it with that fin those fingers, pull it through, hold on to that. And although that's a bit of a odd shape, it doesn't matter because you just pull that through and then just tighten it, just pull it just adjust it so however big or small you want it you can go really really small now a little tip here you could just cut that off stick it on make another one but if you did that you'd waste quite a lot of ribbon so if you leave that in place make you another make another loop make your next bow so again loop there loop there cross over through, pull it through, and then you can adjust to make the size bow you want, tighten it up, keep pulling, pulling and tighten it up just to get the right size. And when you've done that then you can trim the bows and you won't waste very much. Just cut them on a slant, just looks better. Two little bows, the only bit you wasted was that bit. If you've got to make a, a lot of bows for anything, make them all, then cut them all. But just remember, don't pull it out to, to stretch because you'll lose them all. Right, a little dab of icing, another dab of icing. Pop it in place. If you do it neatly, it can be the front, um, if it's not as neat, well, it can be the back. It's intended to be the back. I'm just going to take that out now, see if it'll hold. Yeah, maybe I was a little bit hasty, but it would come out. But you'll notice I put my fingers either side and twisted the pin as it came out. I'm going to tidy up um, the board with some 15mm um, ribbon, which uh, is slightly wider than the board, but that's fine because the icing um, has, has made that uh, layer a little bit deep, deeper. A layer of put stick all the way around. This is quite useful. If you use um, uh, some glues, they will go through the ribbon, but uh, put stick won't or something similar, there are other similar ones. Um, put a little bit on the end of the ribbon. Then it should hold while you go around. It just tidies it up and makes it look part of the part of the hole. the ribbon at an angle a little bit more put stick on the end of the ribbon and then 
this into place. Right. So now onto the decorations. 